Do it! Do it! Come on! Kill me! I'm here! Come on! <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Inside Your Screen Gaming, and welcome to Off The Cuff. This is Predator Hunting Grounds, a demo beta that dropped at the weekend just gone, the 27th to the 29th of March, which pits you in either the shoes of the Predator uh, or of a fire team, uh, a soldier elite force unit called the Voodoo Squad, that are going out to complete objectives and basically escape from the Predator. Predator Hunting Grounds is an asymmetric multiplayer game developed by Ilphonic. Uh, they were the developers that uh, put through Friday the 13th, which was a really great game, actually. Same kind of concept, really, where one player would play Jason Voorhees, this uh, unstoppable juggernaut boogeyman character, and the other players would, would be the camp counselors, um, people that wouldn't have as many powers uh, trying to escape from Jason. There's been a lot of uh, divisive reactions to the trailer that came out at the weekend. Some people have loved it, some people have loathed it, some people are in between. These are just my opinions. Um, you can see some gameplay footage with myself, Brendan and Mike. And we'll also be doing a podcast uh, talking about Predator Hunting Ground, so you can check that out when it's released. And we'll be showing this on the website as well, as well as uh, YouTube and our Twitter feed. Um, but anyway, let's just jump right into it. Let's get into the, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So right off the bat, Ilphonic have been able to capsulate the uh, essence of Predator. And that's one of my main vocal pros of this. The sound effects, they're just great. They're fantastic. Um, every time the Predator switches to his thermal mode, every time you hear him clicking in the trees, his stomping of his feet, the sound design is amazing, it's immaculate, and the Alan Silvestri uh, sound from the original film is encapsulated here and just put out on display. It's been given a bit of a, you know, a uh, bit of a new riff kind of thing, but it's still the same kind of Predator score that you remember from the 1987 film of Arnold Schwarzenegger as, as the kind of Marines when you're in the chopper. To get to the chopper, you know, descending down to the, the playing field, you hear the little ping of the the chopper light, which is exactly like the film. And you just feel immersed uh, completely in this experience right from the get-go. And there's little nuances as well uh, that really just draw you in. Um, if, you're, if, you see, if you're one of the Marines and you see the Predator in the tree and you start shooting, pieces of the branches will fall off, just like in the film when Blaine is um, basically, his guts get blown over and Mac brings up the old painless and just starts shooting off into the jungle. You see him. Yes. He's right there. I'll get you, don't okay. worry. Oh, shit. Go, go, go. Guys. He's starting strong. He's in the tree. You get that feeling that, you know, you're, what you're doing, you, what you're shooting at is having an effect on the real world. Um, you can put mud on yourself to kind of like detract the predator from seeing you in his thermal vision, just like the film. A lot of a lot of little nuances have gone in here, and you can tell that Ilphonic have taken pains to to kind of try and encapsulate everything from the movie. The multiplayer aspect is also um, well. Some people will see it as as derivative. Some people will see it as um, a fun thing. If you get a group of people, if you get a group of your friends, if you get five friends together in a party and you play this, you'll have a fun time. Now, what I found from playing with Brendan and Mike, um, when we were playing solo, when we were either playing with other people or we were just trying to get into the servers, it wasn't a fun ex well, it was okay, but it wasn't that fun. When we were together and we were able to kind of, you know, quote each other these film parts as we're trying to shoot the Predator or as we're trying to complete our objective do you know what i can imagine when you're playing this online when it's all up and running and you're playing with a skilled person who is a predator it will be terrifying oh yeah, yeah 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 definitely I'm not saying that brennan's not skilled i'm not saying that either oh, oh, shit. Oh. it's gonna be like playing search and destroy on call of duty where you feel that pressure yeah. 
through the hole of the predator, man. Like, as in, you know, it's actually yeah. quite fluid. Like, he's quite fluid when he goes from tree to tree and stuff. Um, oh, 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 he's killing people. There he is. I don't know, but... What just happened? Oh, he's sneaky, bro. Man. He's gonna be sneaky. You can customize your soldier. Um, you can give him an eye patch. You can give him ski mask goggles. You can that. give him war paint. You can put skins on your rifle or your rocket launcher or whatever you want to do. There's quite a few options available here, and I'm hoping that once the the beta uh, becomes the full release, that there'll be more options here. And likewise with the Predator, um, you can change his mask, uh, you can change his, you know, Predlocks. Uh, there wasn't an option to change the loincloth or the fishnets, unfortunately. I'm hoping this is something that will be uh, addressed and um, put out there in future. That's just my own fetish, but there you go. So now the bad stuff, and unfortunately there are quite a few bad things in Predator Hunting Grounds. Um, from a technical standpoint, the actual, the graphics do seem a little dated. It does seem like we're playing this on a really early PlayStation 4 type of game, or even if I was being critical, a very late PlayStation 3 sort of engine. It's not to say that the environment is lush, it's just that there's certain textures that pop in, um, and it just, the, the, the whole feel, it just feels like a very late, late PlayStation 3, early PlayStation 4 format. Um, now, servers uh, were an issue this weekend, not for me personally, um, but Brendan did have some issues logging on. Now, the footage you're seeing right now is him as the Predator. Now, this, uh, I understand, is a glitch. Uh, he actually joined the game uh, with four other, you know, soldiers. However, he was just on his own. He was against AI computer opponents, and that's that's not great. That's that's not a good glitch to have. Um, for the f whole 15 minutes, he was just jumping around the trees, trying to find out where these where these human human characters were. But it, all all he was against was AI. There's other glitches that have been reported, like characters getting stuck, um, certain buttons not working when they're needed to, and major load times. Yeah, um, I personally didn't get any really long load times. However, playing Friday the 13th, I've got a copy of Friday the 13th, and every time I try to log into a server, it's really long. It's, we're talking like 10, 15 minutes here. And it's not, I know uh, Ilphonic are not a AAA studio, but even so, it shouldn't really have to take you, we're in 2020 now, it shouldn't have to take you 10 to 15 minutes to get inside a game. Uh, especially for this ADHD crowd that we're dealing with. Um, so there was a lot of issues with servers, but one could argue that because we're all in self-isolation at the moment, a lot of people have been playing Predator Hunting Ground. So I'm not going to go too much into that right now, only because of the fact that, um, you know, what else are people going to do? They're going to be watching TV, they're going to be playing games, and uh, I imagine the servers were overwhelmed. Also, another kind of concept that's come up is that the fact that the Predator isn't as strong as you'd like to think. Um, if you have a good group of first-person shooters that are playing as your Voodoo Fire Team elite soldiers, they can quite easily take down the Predator. Now, I don't know if this is just because of the fact that the one skill set level that we have of the Predator, the Hunter, or sorry, the class of the Hunter, um, is, you know, the only thing available at the moment. But I downed the Predator quite a few times, and his kind of style of play, or in the films anyway, the style of play of the Predator was meant to be a kind of hunter-stalker. He would pick people off one by one. And there are options that are, you know, available to you as the Predator for this. You can level up, you can, but it's a bit of a grind. The soldier's objectives don't seem particularly great, I'm going to be honest. Um, you're going in into a kind of guerrilla camp and you're given, like, each mission will give you, like, a different set of objectives. You can either collect water samples, you can kill a particular warlord or VIP type person. Um, you can go in and, you know, steal some documents or just blow some shit up. But... Mm. The AI is really bad. The, the AI is, no, it's dumb. The AI is really dumb. 
So as the soldiers, um, obviously you won't just be able going into a map just fighting the Predator itself. These AI uh, gorillas are there to kind of uh, create a distraction for you. And that's all they are really is a distraction. They're just a nuisance. Uh, they don't particularly, they don't do any particular damage to you. Um, there are two varieties of them as far as I can see. You've got like a kind of heavy soldier set that just takes a bit more damage or it takes a bit more to take down um, or there's the normal grunts that you can take down easily they're just there they're just thrown in essentially to create a distraction so the predator can run around the trees and pick his his prey so to speak um, the AI definitely needs to be improved um, what I would like personally is to have the soldiers actually going into a camp and actually being threatened by these AI NPCs essentially um, why should it be so easy just to come in and do your objective I've seen I've been playing some of the games that I've come in I've completed within five minutes we get in we do the stuff we clear out all the gorillas we get to the chopper and we get out even before the predators really known where we are there's been other games where we get in there and the predators has been great it all depends on who's playing the actual uh, you know predator who's playing your teammates but essentially if you have a good group of people and you're running around and you're just doing all the things you need to do. You can collect all the shinies, all the jewelry. You can collect all the objective pieces and then you can get out willy nilly, that's fine. So the, the AI definitely needs to be improved. Um, that's, that's, that's definitely something that needs to be looked at. Playing as the Predator, your main goal is to track and kill the four players on the enemy team, so you have to kill all the soldiers before they complete the objective. And that can either be super easy um, if you get the jump on them. So if you start right off the bat and you start with your shoulder mounted cannon and you just take them all out, good, good, good on you. Um, but as the film dictates and as, as, as this is trying to sort of, the game is trying to make you feel that you should be picking them off one by one, but actually the mechanic of it doesn't feel that that's the way to go. Um, because the Predators can't distinguish between player controlled characters or the AI enemies. So it's a bit confusing at first. You won't know until, you know, the human players start interacting, i.e. killing the gorillas. Uh, you don't get many useful tools to start off with until you level up significantly. So like, you're, you know, you can get a, uh, the splicey disc thing, you can get the grab net thing, and wrist blades for close up fights, but even the close up fights feel a bit janky at the moment. Um, and the Predator's not indestructible. Unlike Jason Voorhees in the Friday the 13th uh, game, the Predator can be qu killed quite easily. If you have a lone soldier, then yeah, the Predator is going to wipe this person out. But if two or three or more of the soldiers gang up and just start wailing on them, then the Predator's going down and it's that's the end of the mission, essentially. So I'd like to think that the Predator needs to be beefed up a little bit more. And there's some videos that I've actually seen where someone's played as the Predator and seems more scared playing as the Predator than the actual human Marines, which I just find a little bit unnerving. Just throwing an idea out there, um, I think it would have been a lot better if the, the generic soldiers that you kind of take on board, if they were actually specific characters. I think Ilphonic missed the trick here by not using the soldiers as characters. Um, you have such an eclectic mix here. Blaine, who had like, you know, the the kind of weird kind of, I don't know what the technical name for the hat is, but the weird cowboy hat that had one half going up with old painless. You had Mac, who had the razor blade. You're ghosting this motherfucker. You had uh, Dylan, um, you know, the CIA agent. You had Poncho, Hawkins, Dutch. Uh, you had all these characters. And I think what would work really well is that if there was just a sort of finite amount of soldiers, but they all had their own personalities and they all interacted with each other. In a cutscene, you'd see like you do with Blaine and Dylan in the chopper before they kind of like land in the original Predator film. A prime example of this would be Val's Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2, where the player ultimately empathizes with the playable characters on screen because they interact with each other within set pieces in between the action scenes. It may seem like a small thing, but it could separate Predator hunting grounds from any other generic FPS. Goddamn stairs. Helicopter. Maybe the helicopter. Maybe it's made of chocolate. <laughs> We've got to run! We've got to go! Come on! Run away! Kablamzo! 
Oh, the predator self-destructed and it's all good. We survived. I couldn't recommend buying this. If this is going to be sold at like £40 or £50, um, I really, at the moment, at this point in time, I couldn't recommend it. Um, it's me. broken in a lot of ways. Uh, and it's kind of feeding on the nostalgia for people. And I think a lot of people will buy this just based on pure nostalgia. But it's longevity. Uh, it's a longevity game. Uh, I, could, I could play this without my friends, with just a group of randoms. Um, for maybe a couple of weekends, I'd level up my character a little bit. But I don't think there's enough substance here to kind of make me want to play any more. Sure, there'll probably be other maps, and sure, there'll be probably other other customizationable things, but really, I think uh, this is meant to be released next month. What I would what I would probably ask for is that this is delayed. Um, take this away. This is a franchise that I love the Predator franchise. I love, well, I love the original Predator franchise. I don't so much now what's going on. Um, and I think really that the developers need to kind of take a step back. Don't release this next month. Don't rush job this out. Don't rush this out. Leave this until October. That's when Halloween is. You know what's going to happen? In a couple of months time, the world's kind of going to go back to normal, right? And then people come out and then when October hits, it'll be like, yes, we want to party. We want to party hard. And how are you going to do that? You're going to play Predator. You're going to get your friends. You're going to get online. And you'll be like, let's play Predator do that fix fix the things that aren't right with this so far and then then show us uh, and that's my my final thoughts on this and also you can catch us on the podcast talking more about it shortly so stay tuned to inside your screen uh, if you like what you've seen subscribe follow and share with your friends and I hope to see you on the next inside your screen gaming bye Come on, get to the chopper, it's coming, the chopper is coming, go, go, go! Go, go, go! Nice guy! Bread us low, oh! GG Fuck you Predator, you don't know